across the <laughs> exhibition centre here. Naked. Parkour, no. And we're, and we're doing it naked, so we're just taking this up here at the moment. And I, and, I, and I hear there's going to be fire involved as well. Um, welcome to All Energy. <laughs> Thanks, John. Well, we're here with uh, John Wood from, from Occult, and uh, he's going to run us through an awesome piece of kit here, the, the Ultraflex. So let's go and check it out. Let's go and check it out. So, John, um, tell me about the Ultraflex. So, Ultraflex is uh, a, um, a power we've designed for both on-grid use and off-grid use. Uh, it uses ultra battery. Uh, ultra battery is a lead acid based technology that combines battery and ultra capacitor technology in a single cell. In a sing and, 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 and that product, that combination of technology is invented here in Australia by CSIRO. It's created an amazing energy storage device that will cycle continuously in partial state of charge. Fantastic lifetime, uh, longevity of throughput, uh, and a really robust product that can handle uh, differences in charge rates, uh, differences in temperature. A great, uh, great Aussie invention. Well, sounds and first, uh, amazing piece of kit. Um, what do you think its application is? Oh, the main applications for ultra battery, anything that needs uh, robust, handy demand. Uh, remote telecom sites, uh, remote power, uh, on the grid we can provide grid ancillary services, so not what just... What are uh, those? Grid ancillary, grid ancillary services? Yeah. So there are services that, that you use yourself. So if, if I'm generating my own renewable power, yeah. I want to use as much of that renewable power as I can. I want the best value for my renewable power. But there's times that I can get more for that on the grid. So if I can shift my renewable power to use my renewable power when, when, when I can, and then I can shift it also to get the, the most, when the grid needs power, that's a form of energy shifting. And then you start to get to the more sophisticated sort of ancillary services like grid frequency regulation, or we call it FCAS uh, here. Uh, and in those applications, you're providing a valuable service to the grid. So it's a grid connected site. So I guess we've looked at renewables as something that we integrate into the grid. What storage does is to give a second stage proposition to that, where by combining renewables and uh, storage, you can actually make the grid better too. And uh, with your call with ultra battery, we do a lot of that today. Wow, so sounds a win-win scenario for, for the customer and for the utilities. And for the utilities. So yeah. we do a lot of that, particularly in North America at the moment. Yeah. So uh, we have sites using ultra battery uh, in North America. It looks just like this, yes. like the ultra flex, but they're actually huge. So these are these are megawatt uh, scale systems. So this this ultra battery in a case like the ultra flex can be scaled. Absolutely, yeah, yep. yeah. So we're doing we're, we're doing multiple megawatt systems now. Wow. On grid, off grid. Yep. Uh, we we've worked with Ultra Battery uh, down in uh, in Bass Strait with Hydro Tasmania. Hydro Tasmania created this wonderful microgrid. So Hydro Techno Tasmania did this microgrid technology, and they were uh, kind enough that they utilised Ultra Battery as uh, the energy storage method uh, in that system. And that system's been running, I think, for about three and a half years now. It's an exceptional. It's probably, I think, one of the world's best microgrids. But you've got 1,700 people living on King Island. Yeah. And right. those 1,700 people, uh, that island now uses about 30% of the diesel that it did before Hydro Tasmania did their amazing work. Right. So uh, really good financials in terms of the uh, payback of that yeah, investment. Payback yeah. because of the diesel not having to be taken to that remote yeah. site. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just let's talk numbers. Taking the Ultraflex, for example, what are its critical characteristics? So Ultraflex, this particular configuration of Ultra Ultraflex is yes. a 20 kilowatt capable unit. 20 kilowatts of power. 20 kilowatts of power. It's massive. And and around 17.4 kilowatt hours uh, of right. capability in the usable zone. Now that's what we call our partial state of charge zone. Ah. The, the, the this is the magic operating. part. This is the magic part <laughs> because people talk about range of charge in a battery. Yeah. And actually with ultra battery as a lead acid product we use the whole battery but we use it in a particular way so in that central zone in the uh, the uh, 30 to 75 percent range of the battery we use the battery high power we're doing some spectacular ap applications at the moment using the battery at 1.4 c1 that's sort of about a 40 minute rate utilizing that partial state of charge band and then Above that band, above 75%, what we do is between 75 and 90, we allow the customer to continue to use that battery on charge, but we 
cap our voltage at 2.25 while we're doing that charge. And then even above the 90%, we let the, the very top of the battery be used and we taper it off to charging at 2.2 volts. Very important if you're doing a, a solar type application yep. that now you can use that, that variable area and yep. then you can slowly ramp up until you get battery full. Yep. At any stage, if you need to discharge, of course you can discharge at whatever rate that you want right. uh, inside that full ramp. Now, you probably noticed I didn't talk about the bottom 30% yeah, because there's the bottom 30% there as well. And we use that as well. But because uh, the bottom 30% will degrade the battery a little bit faster than the, the territory above it, what we do is we keep that for reserve power situations. So if you're using the, using the, the battery for its best purpose like here between the 30% and then all the way up to the top, and something goes wrong at your site, the grid, the grid fails, or uh, something happens the, if it's an off-grid site, and something happens to the generator, and you need a bit of time to fix that generator, or go and get some, go and get some more fuel, or whatever, the, whatever the reason. Then, you know, a number of times a year, what we'll do is let you. Yeah, it's like having a spare fuel tank. It's like having a spare. Fuel oh, tank, that's yes. cool. That's so actually, when people say, you know, what's the range of usable range of a charger off battery, we use we use a whole battery. Yeah. But we just use it in such a way that we get the best total experience for our customer in terms of yeah. performance of the product at time. Cool. Um, so last question: Installers often say, "Oh, that battery is great," but what inverter will it work with? <laughs> So we've taken an approach with Ultra Battery yep. where we want Ultra Battery to be a global standard product. We're working very hard with this product in Australia, in North America, in India, and throughout Asia Pacific. In doing that, we want to support it by way of supporting what inverter or what power system the installer or our customer wants to use. Now, we've got very close friendships with a number of, of the inverter suppliers. So we work very closely with Selectronics, we work very closely with Schneider. We support SMA, we support Delta, we support Heltec. So we will work with our customers to provide what they need. The Ultra Battery itself now, as a technology, is manufactured in North America by East Penn Manufacturing, in Japan by Furukawa Battery, and in India by Exide Industries. What Ecooled is doing is working with all of those suppliers to provide a technology wrapper via the monitoring that always looks into the battery to understand the state of the battery so it can provide the uh, advice to the system controller that's doing power control. That system controller knowing what's needed by the application and knowing the state of the battery can make the right intelligent decisions to get the very best performance out of this technology. So that's our role. Ultra battery, energy storage for a cleaner planet. Wow. Now I do have one of these, I have to fess up so I know quite a bit about them and one of the things that people are often surprised by that it's a, a, a you know advanced lead carbon battery but it's got a battery management system as well so it's a smart advanced lead carbon battery. Absolutely. And that's where a lot of the tech's gone too isn't it? And developing a lot of the that. technology and yeah. the development around yeah. harnessing this, this yeah, particular cool. configuration. Well thanks very much John. Thanks Dwayne. Okay. You're Bye. a champion.